People with essential tremor on the whole don't go on to develop Parkinson's disease. However, there may be a link between the two conditions. So although on an individual basis, my patients with essential tremor are very unlikely to go on to develop Parkinson's disease, if we look at populations um, at large, we see that there may be a slightly higher risk of those people with action tremors like essential tremor going on to later develop Parkinson's disease. The link is perhaps small and it's also complex because it may be clouded by other factors. For example, patients who develop Parkinson's disease with a preceding history of essential tremor may have had a different type of tremor that wasn't truly essential tremor and perhaps may have been a Parkinsonian tremor. That's one example of how the question is actually quite complex.